hope you're all still awake. Late night mega year. And we're in the midst of Makalania Woods. Ooh, I like that moon in the background. Actually, this is a really neat looking woods place. It's kind of like a crystal type woods with all the, uh, you know, glittering and stuff like that. I like it. Uh, this is a Chimera. He's our big enemy of the Makalania Woods. And yes, that is a giant snake on his tail. Our hint recommends that we use uh, silence on him, so let's do that. And let's also hit him with a power break. And off camera, I did equip Orin with the Thunder Blade. And I equipped Waka with something that's not a Water Strike weapon either. Titus, he still needs to change his. I'm going to put him back on the uh, slow blade at some point. Iuna uh, can come and get a turn. But yeah, this guy, he can be somewhat of a handful. He's got quite a beefy amount of HP there. So Aeons would be a pretty good uh, option to use against them as well. Now well, let's go ahead and use Lancet, because I'm pretty sure Chimera's... Yeah, we learned Aqua Breath. I think everyone's gotten their turn, so... Now it's just a matter of taking this guy down. Oh, we can use Kamari's something. Jump is fine. That was terrible. Well, you don't resist ice, so... Yeah, that works. Nice amount of AP from that, and ability spheres. Oh, don't... Okay, he's not stoned. issues we're having. Yeah, Titus didn't one-shot that. And past gameplay me now is like, it, you, you, what do I do with that? My whole plan was dependent on Titus one-shotting that, and that just kind of uh, went away. So we're going to bring Waka out to finish that off. Yeah, this is the part where I realized, oh, Waka does still have the Water Strike Ball. Yeah, this is the part where I realized we got to change that. Well, that would be a completely useless prey, so... We'll do something with a shorter recharge time. Steel. No, hi there, potion. I foresee no difficulty. Enough. Nice. That's how it's done. The level ups all around, pretty much there. All right, yeah, the, we're, we got to switch some equipment here. Uh, I think for Waka, I think we just go back to generic switch hitter. Yeah. And Titus, unfortunately, Water Strike is becoming a hindrance here. There's so many different elemental weaknesses and resistances in this forest, so I'm just going to go back with the uh, slow touch. Oh no. You... Have you seen Donna? Not Donna? since the last temple. Have. What's up? We got separated on the way here. 
Damn it all! I've got to find her! Calm down. But if anything happens to her... Running around in a panic is not going to help. That's not entirely true. Right now, Running around, you might actually cool run into Donna. Search. But... Guard your emotions, then guard your summoner. You're right. Shall we search? No, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, Sir Aaron. I believe... Actually, looking back, I What's don't up? know. Oh, I just wanted to wish him good luck. Well, you were kind of slow on that. I don't know if this Find Donna thing is like a side quest we can do. Although, after getting through here, I don't think it is. But I could be wrong. And that's just how much I don't know about this game. But I do know that uh, Waka can take out those wasps in one shot. And we can... Why am I not having Kamari do this? Yeah, he's he's got more MP to spare. Yeah, there we go. Dang, that's a lot of damage. And we have, well, another new enemy here. Which actually looks like... Oh, hi there, Potion. Which actually looks like the... Um, boss we fought when we first met Riku way back when. It occasionally succumbs to darkness. Yeah, okay. That's not super damaging, so I'm not super worried about that. Actually, I like them hitting Riku so it can charge her overdrive gauge. Uh, now we just gotta get everyone no else to turn. And it doesn't have weakness, so let's go with Thundara. I don't know, it seemed pretty weak to that. Well, we're gonna have to go sphere gritting soon. SOS Overdrive, kind of a neat effect, but not something I'm really looking for, especially for Lulu. Or should I say, Lulu, 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 Lulu. Yeah, so there's that split, where she got a few other bonuses. Uh, yeah, we gotta get Waka over to here. Uh, I can grab this HP node first and then drop him down up, uh, one space to get the uh, evasion and strength boost. Ooh, magic defense plus four. That'll be useful for the next boss. And so will that. I want to get Kamari up to the uh, tier two spells before the next boss. Ideally. Uh, over here we've got HP plus 200 and a bunch of strength boosts. And I don't know if I really want that or not. But I think I'm going to go for it. The HP will be useful. But beyond that... Yeah, it's only going to take a couple more steps. And beyond that... From what I've heard, Riku's Sphere Grid is like the shortest before she gets to the end of her oh, Sloga. So she can afford, she can more afford to go on those extra little side paths. And there might be some instances later on where I have her attacking in certain specific battles or areas. 
Yeah, I'm trying to keep that as vague as possible. Hi, it's one of these guys. We haven't seen them a since. Uh, with rainbow wings, will lead the way to secret things. Luca, I talk in poems. So, Makalania Woods Butterfly Hunt. So basically, you just uh, activate the hunt, and then you try to catch all the blue butterflies, avoid the red butterflies, because that turns into battle, and get all the blue ones, and then you get a special treasure. So we'll demonstrate it. I don't know how well it's going to go, and you notice we have a timer. And given the 3D nature, plus the camera angles, it can be kind of hard to avoid some of the red butterflies. I'm surprised I didn't get caught there. Yeah, you can see the little treasure, like, sort of charging up. And that is actually where the treasure is. I need to get the other blue butterflies first. Well, you can see we got it in time. I don't know how I dodged those red butterflies, but we did. And then got us ooh, an MP sphere. I was not fully planning on getting these, so that's just another bonus. And I'm going to give this one to Lulu, since I gave the last one to Yuna. They're our main MP users. And plus, giving it to Lulu means that Kamari is also going to end up picking it up. Although the next... Yeah, I won't spoil it. There'll be another butterfly hunt in this You're area. Wasting our time. No, Titus, they're giving us much needed AP. We can handle this just like we handled the uh, previous battle. Dang, that's a lot of damage for a basic blizzard spell. And I like it. There's another high there potion. And yeah, let's get Titus in to try and get slow on this guy. Oh, we got slow on this guy. Look at this. He doesn't even have a turn in the foreseeable future. And we'll go ahead with a free prey. And yeah, I see Orin's overdrive is ready, but I'm not ready to use his. Allow me. Okay, you are allowed. That's a lot of spheres we just got. Not that I mind. Oh, treasure hiding behind the woods. Or the tree. Oh uh, yeah, waka waka boom! And we can take out one of these guys. And it's time for some Null Tide action. Okay, Riku's gonna steal, Titus is gonna come in and do nothing. And I'm actually going to try something different to finish this guy off. Again, to try and conserve some of Lulu's MP. Well, that did slightly more than just his previous normal attack. Due to having the Thunderstrike weapon on. 
Will that be enough to finish this guy, though? Yes. Was that just barely enough? Well, we got there. That's what matters. Alright, where's that treasure? There we go. Oh, a remedy. I... That's so rude. And all the monsters are going to get turned together again. But we need... We need Lulu back. And actually, not just back with Asuna, we need to soften her up. But she's still not getting a turn before these other Miss monsters. Me? So that... That yeah, could end up being an issue. And Yuna already did her Null Tide thing. Yeah, we're just going to have to go with it here. That was painful. Okay, you know, we gotta... We gotta spend a bunch of MP now. I mean, granted, she has 209, and this is only 18, but it's a bunch compared to what I've been spending on her in these battles. And as soon as Tyus get up gets up. He's going to tag out Tariku. Hi there, Potion. I mean, I guess if I'm that concerned about MP, I can just start using uh, potions to cure. But I'm really not. Now, past gameplay me doesn't remember exactly where the uh, boss is going to pop in. But post-commentary me knows that there's going to be another save point before we get there. Let's go. Now, speaking of another save point, we're going to have a spot where we meet up with Awaka, and that's where our um, we've got an Albed Primer to pick up in here. And we're just going to cure a bunch of people here. And do some sphere gritting while we're at it. There I kind of pause because I'm like, there's that empty node next to that defense node, and there's, there's really no point in moving from there. But I just had to uh, pause just to make sure of that for a moment. Yeah, Kamari, like I said, I'm going to skip the those defense and HP boosts, while they would be very, very nice to get, they're really not necessary, because Kamari had a bunch of uh, stat boosts before entering Lulu's Sphere Grid. Alright, and there's Lulu. And you, you see that star sphere down there? That's just a uh, luck node, which we're not going to be able to... We don't have two fortune spheres anyways to activate those. So I'm not concerned about it. Plus, I think you need, like, what was that, level 4 key lock to get in there? Yeah, that's not worth it. At least not for the main game. With that out of the way, these guys can now get in our way. Alright, waka waka boom! Haha! And we know the drill here. Null Tide. Oh, 
Now, when I only, when I first played this game and I only cared about building up three or four characters, I just kind of went for a summon in situations like this with Yuna. I was spamming the Aeons a lot more because I just, I simply didn't care. It did lead to some minor issues down the line. But even with like Riku and Waka barely going anywhere on their sphere grid, same with Kamari, I still managed to get through the game. There were a few areas where I had a lot more difficulty, but still more possible. More possible. Still, it was possible. And yeah, I'm just going to move Riku right away because she has the three strength nodes. Ah, uh, just... Kamari needs one more move. Well, he needs a couple more moves. In order to get all of those tier 2 spells. And I'm gonna go looking at what we can customize here. I do want to put Fyra on Ifrit. That way it gives him a better healing spell. But otherwise, I don't think we really need anything. And there's another high there potion. At this point, I kind of recognize that Kamari has a lot more MP than Lulu currently has. So I kind of want to try to conserve that as much as I can. Alright, Yuna needs a turn. Here's some free healing. Uh, yeah, I still gotta get Lulu a turn. Allow me. And you can tell we got slow on him. So he's not going to be doing anything for the rest of this battle, besides dying. And dying to Waka. I thought he still had more HP than that, but uh, I guess not. Oh, and this is the uh, Rainbow Butterfly. Okay, well let's try this. Oh, that was a uh, that was a red one. It looked blue from where I was sitting. Now, these enemies. Oh boy, these enemies. We'll cast Blizzard. Notice that didn't do quite as much damage as before. Notice that didn't even one-shot the thing. And so, past gameplay me kind of, again, Caught really off guard, really baffled by this. Um, not fully sure what to do, but uh, to use Lulu's MP, which I didn't want to do to that guy. And at this point, I started paying attention to the damage holes, and I'm like, this isn't right. My turn now. So, yeah, when you run into the red butterflies, you'll run into an enemy enemies that you would normally run into around here, only they're, like, supercharged. I don't know if they have, like, double the stats uh, as far as their attack and defense stats go, or what have you. They still have the same HP stats. But yeah, they're taking half the damage. This is not good. Uh, yeah, I gotta make sure Yuna gets a turn here. 
And Orin, our best physical attacker here, isn't going to kill the thing. So let's use... well, yeah, we'll use Dragon Fang. That didn't kill it either. Okay. Kamari, you still have magic that I don't mind spending. See ya. Yeah, so you really want to make sure you avoid the red butterflies. And if you Thank get a red you, butterfly battle with those, uh, one of those chimeras, good luck to ya. Because those things, they will be very nasty under these conditions. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the blue butterfly I was aiming for. But another thing that kind of caught me off guard was I thought once we hit a red butterfly that, you know, that was it. We had to restart the challenge if we were still going to do that. And that's not really the case. Oh my gosh, you can't even one-shot that. Orin is silenced. Well, that bit I don't really care about, but, uh... I do care about that water elemental. So let's stop him. Or not. Alright, now it's just that guy. Yeah, I don't want to use her overdrive, even though it is ready. We'll save it for something else. And Yuna gets a turn curing. And we still have people who need turns. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to be too good, because he's one of the armored enemies. But that's okay, because Orin might not be able to one-shot it from full health anyways. But I think he still can, because I think those have... Was it 650 HP, or was it 750 One of those. And yeah, Orin got the uh, warrior mode. So we'll switch him to that. And our timer's still going. Oh, there's where the treasure will appear. I thought I was walking around him, but you couldn't really tell with that camera angle. So it's almost a little bit like a guess and test trial. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Okay, we gotta... We gotta take out stuff, and Waka can't uh, one-shot the flyers. Oh, we gotta get Kamari back, too. And yeah, we'll just use Nasuna here. Either way, it will soften him up. And now Kamari is like really hurt. Miss me? Ha! You didn't kill that. Alright, Kamari, get back in here so you can get your turn and kill something. Um That was a bad idea. Cause yeah, he's resistant to fire. Oh, that's just that's excellent. Well, Waka can get in here and finish it. Uh, Riku needs a turn. And... I guess Orin can one-shot those things, still. At least someone can one-shot something. Alright, and our timer is still going here. Oh, it 
pick up the thing. There we go. And that was actually the last one, but I accidentally ran off the screen. And unfortunately, that's going to reset the whole thing, and I'm just going to give up on it. I don't think we're going to miss anything super important, though, so I'll see you guys next time.